Travis Richardson, Outdoors with Silky Saws. And today we're talking about how to handle a spring pull. And a spring pull is made when a tree is bent over with a load on the other end. Maybe you've fallen a tree in the outdoors and it's trapped another small sapling like this. And it's created a significant amount of tension on this backside with a lot of compression on the front side. If I were to simply just start cutting through this, this tree has got that energy stored potential that could spring up and hit me in the face, especially on a large diameter tree. And this process is the same if you do small trees or large trees. And there's two different ways to handle spring poles. The first method, using my silky saw is to make a bunch of striking cuts on the back side and the tension starting at the top and slowly progressing down as i progress down and cut deeper and deeper each time i'm relieving that energy the other way is using on the inside to take your saw and shave the tree and as i shave it through the inside it begins to collapse so as i move my material around and i just keep shaving material down and down And I can process back and forth. I'm being able to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually, you can see it's beginning to collapse. As it begins to collapse, I can simply just keep on working. To relieve that, as it starts to tear on the backside, that's going to let all of my compression out, it's gonna pull on the tension side, it's gonna stretch those Langdon fibers. And eventually it's gonna be resting on the ground. Now I can simply make a few strokes on the back and I can cut my spring pull down nice and safely and process that material.